Tall and proud is the magnificent crane. Beautiful. A ruby fez covering its head. They stretch out their long, thin necks. And pointing skywards, they throw back their heads. Baby cranes, sunny plume, unquizzical, feed from man-made mothers, unaware of the human behind the beak. The idea for this project came about because it was the school's 75th anniversary, so for sure we wanted to do something special. So choosing a theme for the project, I chatted to some of the Year 8 children, talked about some of the things that are important to them, what they think, how they identify with the school. And something that keeps coming back is the school's logo, which is a crane. The school's at East Cranmore. Cranes used to live here. I'm passionate about birds. It was an easy choice, really. While thinking about this theme of cranes, uh, I was starting to read about the Great Crane Project down on the Somerset Levels. This is a, something really exciting, the thought that cranes might, at some point, be living in this area and breeding in this area, and we might even see them in East Cranmore one day. It was just, just incredible. So we decided to call the project Dancing Cranes, and I needed them to find an artist to come into school and work with the children. Ah, well, the cranes are such interesting birds. I mean, I like birds. I like, you know, crows and owls and all different characters. The cranes have their own features because they are doing this rather bizarre um, mating dance. It, 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 just, it just makes them so interesting and lovable and, and um, such fascinating creatures. And I thought this was good for the children too, that you've got so much potential with, the, with what they can do with, with the crane dance for, for poetry and music and, and creative writing, um, as well as sculptures and, and, and art and design. Um, yeah, they're interesting. Seeing the sculpture go on the wall is like a really pivotal moment in this project because it really brings everything together. The, the children have been asking about it for weeks and weeks and it's been a long holiday, they've come back and now finally that piece of work has gone on the wall and it, it really means so much to them. That they, they, they can see everything that we've talked about has now come together and, and it's a reality. 
I never had any doubt really that Ian was going to come up with a really amazing piece of work. I had seen the drawings and he's really, he, well, he did really think this project through. He, he knew how it was going to fit the building, but how it would suit the school environment, the children, uh, just its place. And uh, yeah, I feel really excited. I feel that I've spent the school's money that we put into this project really well. Nobody's going to turn around and say to me, look, you know, that was a lot of money for a little thing. It's just a fantastic thing. It's, it's, uh, it's great.